In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a ball and a foam roller, how to self-release your piriformis tension. Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian, one of the locally world famous chiropractors in Costa Mesa, California. Now, uh, what you decide is really up to you. Um, if you use something, this is a baseball, but it's a soft baseball. Um, if you use a baseball, you're going to have to have a really squishy surface. If you decide to use something like a tennis ball, you can probably get away with a harder floor. Um, but for the most part, I wouldn't use a bunch of tension. If you had a 10 out of 10 amount of pressure into the area, um, that's probably too much. You're going to probably want to keep it to around a 3 or a 4. And I'll show you different ways to do that but the floor and the actual object is one of them, okay? So I'm gonna start first by showing you kind of where I'm talking about putting it, and then you can use either object in some of these exercises. So a good reference point of how to find the area is to put your hand on your hip like you're angry, okay? Your thumb is gonna draw a natural position in back, which is gonna form a nice vertical line that you could follow down. So that's just reference one is that line. Number two is going to be the bony bone on the side of the hip. And so it's going to be where this bony bone level and the, le and the vertical line intersect, which is going to be just about here. Okay. Now, if you have problems into other areas too, you can use a similar strategy, but then it's just going to be a little different context of, of where you'd put your body on the object. Okay. Now, uh, also before we do these, uh, just let you guys know that if you are having shooting pain into the legs, numbness, tingling, and so on, this is probably not the first thing I would pick for you. Um, and you should probably be seen by somebody in person to get diagnosed appropriately. If you want to come see us, California, you certainly can. Uh, we also have a webinar on the corner you can take advantage of to learn a little bit more about those too. So uh, I'm going to start by doing it onto my left hip um, and I'm going to turn around just so you can see. So I'll leave the ball just on the bottom here and I'm going to position myself so that it's kind of close to that side bony bone and I'm going to roll my body towards the ceiling now so I can follow that line that I talked about before. Okay. Then I'm going to find some tender areas in there and I'm going to use my foot and my elbow to help get it to a 3 out of 10 pressure. If I let that go and I put more body weight onto it, I'm going to be at a 10 out of 10 pressure. So I'm going to use everything that I can, the hand, the hand, the foot, and even the other foot to try to take some body weight off of it so I can do a little bit of rolling back and forth and side to side, back and forth, and side to side. You're gonna find an area that's a little bit tender. Don't spend too long on it, but if you want to, you actually address it a little bit more directly, you can stay on it, release even more pressure, and then breathe as if you're breathing into your kidneys here, okay? Sometimes breathing, or a lot of times breathing, helps out to decrease the sensitivity of the area, but if you hold your breath and strain through it, it's not going to help out too much at all either. So this is the basic approach I would take with the ball. Okay. Obviously, you can use uh, the ball on different areas to see if you can get a, a different um, uh, section of a muscle fiber and the glute medius and other hip rotators and so on. Now, the foam roller is much more forgiving, um, but because it's so high, you have to do a little bit more work on your arms and legs to support it, and that's okay too. Okay. So I'm going to face the camera just for this one, just so I can talk to you. All right. So a good reference starting point is that bony bone again. Okay. For some of you, that bony bone is actually going to be pretty tender. And so you want to get off it pretty quick. Okay. And so I usually drop down below it just a smidge. And now I can find a position that's tender, not tender, tender, not tender. I'm going to stay on the not tender area just to reposition my body again. And now I'm going to roll on to that same section that we did on the last one. From here, you can use your elbow to provide the rolling and the foot to push. Elbow and foot. Elbow and foot. Now I'm talking through this. Obviously, uh, you guys don't need to. And I want you to elbow foot to your heart's desire, but also put your hand right here and breathe into your thumb. 
Now, as you're breathing, try to move your thumb with a breath in the nose, out the mouth. Okay, for some of you, this will be pretty hard. In that case, you're going to want to watch some of our other videos or get some direct coaching about how to actually put pressure into these areas because it's kind of a big part of the problem. Uh, the piriformis tends to get tight when there's poor intra-abdominal pressure, uh, poor core support, uh, and usually poor hip function. And so it's usually not the piriformis muscle's fault, but it does take the hit for a lot of people. If you guys are looking for help in a customized program about how to solve this, um, just let us know, reach out. There's a link in the description below. We do see people in person, people fly in to see us as well to get a full assessment if that's what, you, what, you, what you'd like. However, moving forward, foam rolling and using a ball can be helpful, but they're really not helpful long-term. They don't do anything to provide support. They don't do anything to improve function of the hip. They don't do anything to provide uh, better core uh, support, other than the fact that you're having to keep yourself upright and off of the ball and foam roll a little bit as you go through. But for the most part, there's a lot better things to try. Usually exercise selection is customized based upon the person's problem, uh, but also what you see in a movement assessment. And so if you guys are looking for help with something like that, we can do it. Reach out to us, link description and below, and certainly take advantage of the webinar on the corner. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to the channel, like the video.